my job is not to add more stuff to you. I just want to kind of flip flop some of the things that you're already doing and uh, kind of reframe them, I guess, into something else. Habit stacking, whatever you want to call it. Just kind of switch things with four key aspects um, and create an environment for optimal health. That bottom part is really important. And I mean that sincerely. Um, I don't say things to make people feel better. I mean, I do, but it's it's because I genuinely mean that. I do admire people for going over and over and over and over again <clears throat> with bad diets, with whatever the latest supplement is, the latest craze, whatever it is, because it means that they're trying. It means they're still invested in their health. The failure doesn't matter to me because that's not a reflection of the human that's doing it. That's bad tools that they've been given. That's not enough information. The ambivalence comes from a place of just not knowing what to do. It's those blind spots. <clears throat> and I appreciate that you're dedicated to your health. Again, that's one of the things that I call Lively Gardener, which is part one. So we're going to cover smarter goals tonight. I like smart goals. Smarter goals was like this added bonus that was added to it recently because I've always learned create smart goals. I'll explain what they are if you don't know. Um, it changes the nice to have into something that's tangible. It helps me get from this ethereal, well, I want this, and me being able to go, okay, but how are you going to do that? How are we going to get there? And realistically, how are we going to get there? The end of that, where they became smarter goals, I love. Because now we evaluate and we readjust. Because sometimes some of us overachievers plan too much. We want to do too much in this unrealistic time frame. Now, I can get a lot done in a really short amount of time because I have excellent time management skills. However... Sometimes I go a little too far with that. So I have clients who do the same thing. So we evaluate those every single week and we go, okay, you still on track? How does this feel? Do we need to readjust this? Because I don't want people getting to the end going that they fa feeling like they failed. I want them to hit the goal as close as they can. And if not, we adjust that goal to make sure that they can hit it with just tiny little wins. Last week, I had you set an intention. Heidi, I'll have you do that too. And we'll okay. talk for a week after. Since you're joining a week late, you have an extended week. Um, I ask you to set an intention. Did you do that? And if so, how are you doing with that? And do you need to readjust it? Again, you can use the chat to do that. If you don't want to, that's fine. You can email me. That's fine. You can speak it now. It's totally up to you. But these are things that are important. I have people set intentions because those are declarations. Those are, that's the, the line that we draw in the sand. I want people to be serious about what they're doing. I don't take this as like a vision board that you stick on a wall, you look at it every once in a while, and then you don't do anything with it. This isn't a vision board. This is real life. These are real goals. My goal is to help people get what they want. <clears throat> once they understand I want, why. I want to let you know that, do you remember what my intentions were last week? Yes. You were going to hold me to. Mm -hmm. I changed them up a teeny bit. Oh, good. Okay. I, so my other goal that I wanted to get in was I tend to like grab things on the run because I'm so busy. But my biggest goal was to have some type of just plant-based lunches every single day. And they always had to include a green vegetable, not just lettuce. So I've had um, all kinds of things this week. And I've actually, my sister and I've done it together. She works at the school. So that's been good. So I've done really well. I'm really proud of myself for, for doing that this week. You should be. That pat on the back was for you. Thank you. Um, that's a mate. My heart's like fluttering. I love that. Um I love that you mentioned how you felt about yeah. that. Like you said, it feels good. Um, 
that's something that's very important to that subconscious. It feels, yeah. it sees in pictures, it sees in emotions. Uh, you owned that. Holy cow. Yeah. And I love yeah. that you dragged somebody else into it because that I social did. support is so important. That's why those Weight Watchers groups work. Jenny Craig, I think they have meetings too. I don't know. Um, but you know, Alicia, it's amazing how like normal lunches is like grab a ham sandwich with two pieces of white bread, do this. And then you just feel like Ugh, mm -hmm. after lunch, but having like, I, I made sweet potatoes and we had like a kale salad on them. Like it was chickpeas. It was just very light and easy. And we both could not believe how good we felt after it. Like we didn't feel ugh, bogged down. That's something that's super important that a lot of people, do you mind if I share that with people? I won't share oh. your name. Okay. No. Um, that's yeah, very I'm important for people to understand is that feeling yeah. <clears throat> because until you make those changes, you don't feel it. And it feels, it seems, I should not use the same word. It seems so like far out there, like, Oh, this, this, this isn't going to work for me. This, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they all say. But you gave it a chance and you actually did it. Yeah. And you <laughs> felt immediately. The, the thought of doing things plant-based seems so overwhelming. Cause you, like I, I got off the thing with you guys last week and I thought, okay, how do I even start this? How do I do plant-based? And then I, I had to kind of, like you said, reframe my thinking and say, okay, plant-based is just like take away all the other stuff and just make it simple. And I think I, I sweet potatoes was part of my everyday lunch. So it was something that gave me satisfaction. And then there was other things added into it. So I think if you don't look at it like a mountain, but rather just a little hill to go over to figure out, then it seems a little bit more attainable. Yeah. It's baby steps. And it's definitely... You did something that I failed to mention, and I apologize for that, and thank you for bringing that to my attention. Um, when I went plant-based, when I went vegetarian in 93, we didn't have all that cool stuff that the cool kids have nowadays. <clears throat> I don't eat those things now anyway, other than like the veggie burgers and veggie chicken once in a while. But... Um, we didn't have a whole lot of that stuff. So mm -hmm. my first question was, same thing that you just said, how do I do this? And I went, oh, and it, forgive me, totally 90s, totally like college kid here, but we bought, my roommate and I bought Hamburger Helper and just mm -hmm. said, all right, well, I guess we're, we're not adding the hamburger part, so we'll just make the pasta part. And so we right. made Hamburger Helper without the meat. Like we yeah. literally just took the meat out and went, wow, this is wicked salty, but okay. <laughs> like, you know, it is what it is. You know, um, <clears throat> we eventually once in a while would add a veggie burger to that. Um, and now <laughs> obviously don't go anywhere near hamburger helper, yeah. but that's the thing. Like people get overwhelmed with it and I totally get that. But all you have to do is remove the meat out of the picture. Yeah. Well, what do you, what else do you have with that? Yeah. Well, wow, your options are like really endless. And that's where sometimes it can get overwhelming because now all of a sudden there's like this whole new expanse of food that's available to you. But just taking out the meat, like, okay, you're going to have whatever you would normally have. Even if you just had the ham sandwich with just, because I've done that too, where my mom would send me to school in high school with just a cheese and lettuce sandwich with mustard on it because I was like, I'm not eating the cold cuts anymore, mom. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, I don't, I don't know what to do with you. Like, well, okay. You know, and that kind of became the thing of, oh, well, just take out the meat. Just start simple. Just start yeah. simple. Um, your lunch sounds delicious, by the way, and like yeah. super nutritious. And I'm glad that you felt lighter with that because you were eating less calories, mm -hmm. but eating a higher volume of food. Yeah. Which is amazing. Yeah. No, it was, it was a good week. It was really good.